In this video, we are going to go over the external and internal anatomy of a dicotyledon root. The dicot root consists of a taproot system. This system consists of a central taproot, also known as the primary root. Lateral roots extend out from the central taproot, called secondary roots. Branches from the secondary roots are called tertiary roots. Along these roots you will find root hairs which increase the surface area for absorption of water and minerals. Within the root, like in all other plant organs, there are three types of tissue, dermal, ground and vascular tissue. If we take a cross section through the root, we see that the outer layer consists of the epidermis, this is the dermal tissue. The epidermis functions in providing protection for the root. The epidermis has tubular extensions forming root hairs. In from this layer you will find the ground tissue. The ground tissue consists of the cortex which is filled with parenchyma cells. The innermost layer of the cortex is called the endodermis. The cells of the endodermis are thickened along their radial axis creating what is called the Casparian strip or band. The next layer in is the pericycle, which is the internal meristem, the part of the root involved in the growth of lateral roots. The centre of the root houses the vascular tissues. The xylem and phloem are separated from one another by an X-shaped formation of the vascular cambium. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.